My name is Major Sergeant Private Major, and I'm here to teach you about physics and making a delicious pasta sauce. First things first, I need to let you in on some classified information. This is the R0M4 launcher. It features a quad barrel pneumatic design with each air chamber capable of handling up to 120 psi of pressure. In simple terms, air go boom. Its chief payload is garden variety tomatoes, however many other options are also available. Now, you can see at the end of the target range I've mounted a pot to a board. We're going to use that to make the basis for our sauce. First, you're going to want to get yourself some nice juicy tomatoes. Now, you might be thinking about dicing them up or throwing them in a blender, but here we're not about wasting time. Knives take too long. Cleaning out your blender? Complete nightmare. Instead, we're just going to take our tomatoes whole, load them right into our launcher, and blast them into the pot. Voila! We've pulverized our tomatoes in half a second. We're making good time. Next, you're going to want to add some flavor. To do that, we'll need some herbs. If you just load them in loose, they're going to fly out the end in a cloud of seasoning shrapnel. Complete waste of money, we can't have that. Instead, we're going to make a sort of herb butter. Mix it all together, throw it in the refrigerator for a couple of minutes, load it into our launcher, and... There we go! Butter and herbs into the pot. Looking delicious right now. No need to stir, we'll get to that later. Next, you're going to want to add a little bit of sugar, some onions, and garlic. Load everything up. Now that we've added all of our ingredients, gather up any small bits that didn't make it into the pot and place them back inside. Remove the pot from the backstop and simmer the sauce for about an hour. Grab yourself a glass of Zin, Pinot, whatever you like. Sit down to watch your favorite soaps and wait. After the sauce is done simmering, boil your pasta. Place your plate down range, drain the pasta, load it up and fire. We can now add the sauce to our pasta. Ladle a generous amount in and let it fly. Kablamo! Easy prep pasta sauce! Oh. For the piece of resistance, add some Parmesan. <laughs> now because I run an ultra marathon every morning before breakfast, I make sure to carb load the night before. A delicious way to do that is with some garlic bread. All you'll need is a French loaf, herbs, garlic, butter, salt, and some more Parmesan. Broil for a minute, then launch. <laughs> Amazing. Chef Ramsey, at me for a collab. A private sergeant, major private, come clean this up. In addition to its ability to make a delicious pasta sauce, you may be curious about the R0M4's anti-personnel capabilities. Due to the Geneva Conventions, we are not allowed to test it on live human subjects. So instead, we've brought in our good friend, Thrift Store Spider-Man. He's jacked, real thick boy, like dummy thick. Literally a superhero, like, oh my god, I've trained for years and I still don't have this man's gorgeous backside. Seriously, if I knew a wizard, I would trade him my glasses to bring back Michelangelo so he could carve me out of marble, but with Spidey's dump truck instead. I digress. I'll position Spidey downrange, load up some eggs, and... <laughs> Effective. And an absolute mess. The eggs, that is. This man's body is as clean as a limited-release show car up for auction. Now a bit more about how the R0M4 works. I've opened up the main body to better demonstrate the advanced physics principles we're employing in order to effortlessly launch our payload upwards of Mach 2. As I said before, each tank is filled with pressurized air. Our projectiles are muzzle loaded into the barrel, which is connected to their corresponding tank via a sprinkler valve. Each sprinkler valve has been modified for activation by a high flow solenoid. The brains of the beast are housed in this box here. An Arduino Nano serves as a solenoid controller and a wireless Nintendo Wii nunchuck is used for input. After pairing the nunchuck to the receiver, the launcher is placed into standby mode. To arm it, the operator holds the joystick forward while simultaneously depressing the safety button for several seconds. When the red light begins to flash, the launcher is armed. With the orange switch off, the R0M4 can be used in both semi-automatic and fully automatic firing modes depending on if the trigger is tapped quickly or held down. With the orange switch on, the R0M4 will fire in full power mode, launching the contents of each barrel simultaneously for maximum effect downrange. We like to call this the Big Boom. In each firing mode, several things will happen when the trigger is depressed. The Arduino will sense the launch command and activate the appropriate solenoids via these transistors here. When a solenoid activates, a small amount of air is released from the sprinkler valve, causing a pressure differential between the two halves, allowing the air contained in the tank to rush out the barrel and propel the ordnance. This all occurs in roughly a quarter second, so as always, make sure you know where your launcher is pointed prior to arming it. And for Pete's sake, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Now what other purposes does the R0M4 serve, you ask? Great question, recruit. Load it up with tennis balls and you've got an effort-free day in the park with your dog. 
Wrap some t-shirts in rubber bands and launch them out as souvenirs at your local sporting event. Yeah! Go sports team! Win the points! Or grab yourself some burritos, a few drinks, and cater a high-velocity lunch at your next summer gathering. Who's hungry? Really, anytime you need to move a few small objects a quarter mile away in half a second, this baby's perfect for the job. With so many uses for the R0M4, you'll no doubt be curious about getting your hands on one of your own. Well, today's your lucky day, recruit. Keep an eye on this channel as we'll be releasing a previously classified how-to video so you can build one at home. Before you build yours, you'll want to know some things about the launcher. As designed, it weighs 54 pounds, so you may choose to add wheels to it in order to make it more easily portable. That, or just deadlift it everywhere you go like I do in order to remain constantly warmed up and ready for an impromptu workout. As I said before, the mil-spec version of the R0M4 is configured to launch objects a quarter of a mile. The civilian version, as featured in our upcoming build video, has a slightly more limited range, however it still holds plenty of utility. At 110 PSI, the approximate maximum distance of a tennis ball is... Whatever that was. Don't ask me how much power it consumes, all I care about is how much power it can dish out. While we advise against using the launcher from a shoulder-mounted position, the most seasoned operators can pull this off as a last resort if no other suitable space for deployment is available. Now, despite my steadfast demeanor and strictly business attitude, I'm actually a man of art and culture. So before I sign off, I'd like to present you with my future submission to the Sundance Film Festival. I call it thrift store Spider-Man getting pummeled with all manner of objects I found around my house. It's a working title, but I think you'll agree, the creativity and brilliance of a seasoned artist shows through all the same. Enjoy. There you are, recruit, the R0M4, a technological marvel and wonder of modern engineering. Until next time, stay vigilant, shoulders back, and always remember, never skip leg day. Please consider subscribing for more projects, and most importantly, thank you for watching.